Most countries are now investing in some of the best technologies for the defense systems, and right now the latest trend is investing in robots so that we no longer have to get humans onto the battlefield, which is why we'll be taking a look at the top 5 latest army robots that will excite us in 2022. But before we begin, you're watching Robot Future, so make sure to subscribe to our channel for more robotics and artificial intelligence related content just like this one and turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Ok, with all that done, let's get started. Army robots will change everything on the battlefield because of efficient execution of a task, for delivering ammunition, for communicating with air and ground drones, and these robots can also be used to fight in high-risk areas and can also be remotely controlled by humans, which means that we can have unmanned systems with the power of artificial intelligence and it would change everything we know about combat maneuver formations because this time soldiers are protected and robots can be used instead. So we're looking at a manned unmanned combination being tried out by armies around the world because battlefield has always been one of the most dangerous spaces for humans and removing humans from those battlefields will be a great move. Generally, we have four types of military robots like airborne robots, military robots, bomb disposal robots, and finally, we have uncrewed ground combat vehicles. Now that you know something about army robots, it's high time to discuss the 5 latest army robots that we'll be having in 2022. Number 5. Avatar Tactical Robot The third generation of the Avatar Tactical Robot is a rugged, easy to use one that enhances the capability of law enforcement and first responders by allowing them to safely and quickly inspect dangerous situations. The best part is that the Avatar 3 is an entirely customizable robot with plug and play payload bay which allows users to build the robot according to their needs which is very interesting. Number 4. Dogo Robot This one happens to be one of the best future military robots that will be utilizing advanced military technology. It comes with cutting edge tactical combat mode that is armed with a 9mm Glock pistol to serve as a watchdog for soldiers in the warfield. This one happens to be designed by General Robots and it could be equivalent to combat zone drones, but this one will be used on land. The Dojo is very light at about 11.5 kilos, which makes it really easy to carry in a single hand. Israeli Police's counter-terror unit and the Defense Ministry's R&D Directorate were the ones to give inputs in the design of this great robot to combat terrorism. The Dojo robot happens to be a robot that is powered by a battery and can be operated for about 2-5 to five hours. There are about 8 cameras present inside the robot which means that the army can receive videos from multiple angles. Most other robots that do the work of the Dojo robot are extremely heavy and they take a lot of time to direct a weapon to whatever you want. But that's not the case with Dojo because it weighs just 11.5 kilos so it can be easily transported and you can also designate the weapon towards the target within seconds with point and shoot technology. The Dojo robot has got built in two way encrypted audio communication which allows the operator to listen and intervene in hostage situations. The Dogo robot can also transmit large amounts of visual and audio information within a range of 400 meters. So communication is a very important feature with this Dojo robot. The communication is so good that even with large concrete walls between the operator and the robot, you'll still be able to communicate with the robot as long as you stay within 100 meters away from the robot. 3. Saphir Saphir happens to be a two-legged or bipedal humanoid robot that is designed to develop to evaluate the applications of unmanned systems in damage control and inspections aboard naval vessels which happens to be supporting autonomy and unmanned systems focus area in the Navy science and technology strategy. This autonomous firefighting robot is breaking new ground with how we fight fire on ships in the future. The Office of Naval Research is using the knowledge that they gained with the first generation of this robot, and then they worked on new and more advanced robot prototypes, so the Saphir is the most advanced version of the firefighting robot. This one happens to emphasize much better mobility and autonomous capabilities to better navigate in tight spaces and also to perform additional functions inside the ships. This robot is all about doing jobs that are very difficult for humans, and firefighting happens to be one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, so it would definitely be our natural instinct to save human life and also avoid potential injuries by replacing humans and putting robots in those risky places instead. And that's what the Saphir project has always been about. The goal of this robot is to eventually better assist sailors in fighting fire, controlling damage, and carrying out inspections on ships. Number 2. GuardBot 
When you look at it for the first time, you might feel this to be just a bowling ball, but this happens to be a lot more than that. The guard bot happens to be an amphibious surveillance robot that can roll on any terrain, including stone, sand, and dirt. The robot is equipped with two cameras, microphones, and GPS, which allows it to be controlled remotely or using satellites. The military will definitely find a lot of possibilities using GuardBot for so many future combat and rescue purposes. The GuardBot is still under development and might cost more than $100,000 once it's out in 2022. The GuardBot was initially conceived for a planetary mission to Mars and that was around 2009 related to a project with the Swedish National Space Agency and Uppsala University. The partnership with Aqualine's drones and GuardBot will be huge for GuardBot because Aqualine's aerial hardware can be used for cloud-based transmitters to communicate with GuardBot's ground-level vehicles for a seamless unmanned system that works really well together, which will then solve potential life-threatening issues like fire, theft, vandalism, and violent attacks. GuardBots can also be remotely operated and controlled or programmed to patrol a set route along with parameters, buildings, and fields. GuardBot's spherical design is what attracts a lot of people. At the same time, this spherical design allows for frictionless motion and almost silent propulsion, which is why this is called a highly adaptive robotic vehicle system, or HARV for short. Because of the shape, the point of contact with the ground at the bottom of this robot is very minimal, so you have less friction to deal with and also the battery power consumption is very low. The circular guard bot can also handle all kinds of terrain, including paved roads, dirt, dunes, snowy fields, slopes, mountains, and even water surfaces. The best part about the guard bot happens to be the fact that it could also navigate upstream. The guard bots also come with pods on each side that contain interchangeable sensors such as video cameras, thermal, infrared, microphones, and GPS, and audio equipment for continuous content generation along with the transmission of data and communication. It can also be outfitted to carry our payload, such as fire retardant liquids. Number 1. Gladiator The Gladiator happens to be a tactical uncrewed ground vehicle that was developed in order to support the United States Marine Corps conduct of ship for object maneuver missions through the use of medium-sized body systems to minimize risks and eliminate the involvement of Marines during a conflict. The Gladiator is able to perform several different tasks like surveillance, reconnaissance, assault, and breaching missions within its basic technical configuration. The robot uses remote imagery software to relay images, including day and night images, along with thermal images. This robot is also capable of providing battlefield support, including surveillance, reconnaissance, assault, and breaching missions. Most importantly, the robot comes with a modular design that allows for the attachment of standard interfaces for mission payloads. The robot is also armored to remain operational even after being assaulted with ammunition up to 7.62mm rounds. The Gladiator's purpose is to be easily transported to different parts of the battlefield. It is also rated to be used in different types of environments. The Gladiator is undoubtedly a robust, compact, unmanned, teleoperated, multi-purpose ground reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition vehicle system which possesses a scouting and direct engagement capability. It also provides the armed forces with remote reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition, nuclear, biological, and chemical reconnaissance, obstacle breaching, and direct fire capability that will neutralize threats and reduce risks to warfighters. And that sums up our list of 5 latest army robots. What do you think about these army robots? Did we miss out on something? Do let us know in the comments section below because we'd love to hear from you all. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more robotics related content just like the one you're watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever we upload a brand new video. That's about it for today, we hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to smash that like button and we'll meet again in the very next video, so stay tuned!